welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Aries from um, October 12th to about October 18th or 19th. So please like and subscribe. Um, I suggest everybody learn their moon rising and if you have time to learn your moon, Venus rising as well. And you can um, go to free sites and learn your birth chart is how you do this. So you have to know the place you were born, the time you were born, and what was it, the time, the place, and the day. And then you look on, it'll, if you punch that into some of these websites or places you can go to to look at that, they will bring up your birth chart for you. And it will tell you where all the planets were the day you were born and trines and all of that stuff. And somebody who can read those can tell a lot about your life, major events and such. So, but I would suggest that everybody should know at least their moon and their sun. This is probably your sun and then you'll get a better reading of your life or your relationship or your partner or whatever. So, welcome cross watchers. Um, welcome Aries. I hope things are going good. Remember time is fluid so when you find this it's probably meant for you to find this or come across this. Um, the masculine and female energies also can be reversed. This is going to be a love reading for Aries of course. So one side will be you, one side will be your partner and you do not have to, um, you can switch. One side, you can switch whatever side I say is you to your partner, what side I say is your partner to you. And this, there's no way this can resonate with everybody who's an Aries in the world, so it's only going to go to like the general population. I'm hoping in a little while longer I can do readings myself, but right now I cannot, so I have to get through certain stages for uh, this channel. So, um, here we go. So I'm using the Tales of the Mystical Cats Tarot, and then I'm going to use the Oracle of E-Card for you and your partner, and then I will use the Angel and Sister for you and your partner. Aries. So Aries is one of my top viewers. For some reason, Aries are really into this um, insight to their life compared to other signs, for sure. Okay, so the bottom of the deck we have for you, Aries, is the world. This is good. This is a general reading for the cards. This means you have some dreams coming true. You see the sun in the card. You see the cat looking out the window because dreams are coming your way. Awesome, Aries. The first card we have for you, Aries, wow, is it to a C. This is my love card. What a way to start off your reading. This is true love. Two kitties drinking from one cup. True love. The card we have for your partner is the priestess. This is somebody very smart, very grounded, very healing, very spiritual, very clear. Um, yes, this is a good card. Definitely. She's very observant. Um, she's very gentle. So the next card we have for you, Aries, is the Sea Queen. The Sea Queen is somebody who's grounded. They're in check with their emotions. They have um, nice things that they take care of. They're very quiet, usually, but they're very wise and very knowledgeable. Very, I almost feel like these people could have intuition, the Sea Queen. Okay, next card. Oh, I didn't put this one up there. I'm doing it wrong. Put that one up there, and then I'll do this one. Sometimes I like to leave them laid out so I can look at them up and down, across and diagonally. But I know they're easier for you guys to see probably when I do it this way. So, Aries, this is the Ace of Wands, or Ace of Fire. This means there's an ending, and it seems like you're putting your foot down, and you're done with something or somebody. You've had enough. We're done here. So the next card we have for you, Aries, is the Four of Sky. This is somebody healing, retract, retreating from the world, um, and just sleeping and making themselves strong again. So the next card we have is Strength. This is a major Arcana card, Aries. This tells me that you have the strength for whatever is coming in your life right now. You have the strength to pass whatever's going on. 
So, okay, I'm going to do the past, present, future, and then I'll do um, clarification cards before I do the e the oracle cards. So, the past of your relationship, Aries, is 4 of C. This is somebody being depressed and not really caring and not putting in any effort because they're in a rut, so to speak, a temporary rut. So, the present of your relationship is Ace of C. Aries, this is true love. The emotions are in check. Everything is in check. This is very good. So the present of your relationship is Six of Sky. This to me means that somebody's going to be fighting around you, Aries. Could be relatives, could be friends, but you are like not going to participate in it. You're, it's their problem, not yours. You don't have time for that. Okay, let me pull a clarification card see if we can figure out. This is the Chariot, Aries. This means good news is coming to you pretty quickly this week. You're going to get some news, a text, an email, a call, something good is coming your way. Another clarification card is the Sky Kitten. The Sky Kitten is somebody immature, uh, playful, they could just act like a child a lot. Um, very immature. Immature, immature. Charm. <laughs> so this is the stars. Wow, another major con Aries. This is dreams fulfilled. The Divine guiding you. This is a very good card. Very good. So the next clarification card we have for you, Aries, is a Demon Cat. This could either be a Capricorn in your life or somebody very vindictive and, and not very nice. Aww. This is the Four of Fire. This is my mar wor meh, marriage card, Aries. This is somebody getting married. Or it could be you looking to divine your higher power for answers. So there's a couple meanings to a lot of the cards, but that's what I get off those. Oh, Aries. So it looks like this is Major Arcana. This is a Tower card. Tower moments have to happen to bring clarity and bring something better into our life. So it looks like you're going to have... You have so many Major Arcanas, Aries. So yeah, it looks like you're going to have something that needs to leave your life. And they... It's going to be a tower moment. This is Ten of C. This is my family vacation card. This is a female who is very domesticated with the kids. And she watches them very well. And they're happy with her. This is the Earth Queen. This is somebody who is opinionated, stuck in their ways, usually old, elderly. But not too old. I mean, just older than you, I guess. Well, <laughs> this can apply to a lot of people. So... I'm just saying she's older and she's set in her ways. That's why she's set in her ways. Because her generation was different and this is the way she is. So this is Three of Sky, Aries. This is a couple of things. This is my cheater card. Or you have a couple mischievous friends around you that aren't good for you being in your life. So the next card we have is the Five of C. This means you have some, done something, Aries, to embarrass yourself. To cause a little bit of grief, a little bit of, what did I do that for? I'm not very bright, but it's temporary. You'll move through it pretty quickly is what I feel. I know you feel pretty strongly about what happened, but you're going to move through it. And you'll move on. Okay, this is the Nine of Sky. This is somebody having nightmares in their sleep about something. This is the Sky King. This is a... King who is cold, he's wise, he's opinionated, he just kind of observes more than he talks. Alright, um, so I hope that makes sense. I'm going to do the Oracle of E cards. So that's a lot. So you have the strength, you're going to have a tower moment, something's going to happen where you're going to um, be shocked. You're ending something, it looks like. Maybe you're starting something as soon as this thing ends. And it seems like there's a lot of people around you. I don't know if they're giving you input on what you should do or what you're getting from that. So the first Oracle V card we have for you is number 8, All In, Aries. Beautiful card. All In. 8 is a good number, so let's see. All In says... All systems are go. Whatever you do right now, do not hold back. This is the perfect time to give it everything you've got. For every inch you move toward your dream, the universe will move it 10 miles closer. It's time to raise the stakes 
and play your hand, I'd jump on it if I were you. Next card we have, Aries, is Bazinga. This comes up so much. And that breaks down to 10. So we got 8 and 10 if you break those. Well, 8 can't be broke down, but the 19 could be broke down to the number 10. So Bazinga. Well, well, don't you got it going on. Now's the time to revel in the sweet taste of Intabula Shield. You fit your mark. Go on, take a victory lap. Pop a cork. Let's get this party started. Celebrants are lining up at the door. Hmm. All in. So you're ready to go have fun, it looks like, Gary. You guys are like, I'm ready. I am all in. It's time to have fun. Could be all into work. All, all into lots of things. I have no idea. Alright, so these are the Angel and Ancestors Oracle cards. For one for you, one for your partner. First card is Lord. Take charge with authority. Wow, Aries. Lord, let's see what this says. Okay, I'm trying to find it. I, it's not good. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Don't be afraid to take any change or use your voice. Be strong. The Lord is the consent of the lady. Or no, the Lord is the consort of the lady, the emperor in the ma ma traditional tarot. He represents an authoritative male who isn't afraid to lay down the law. But this doesn't mean he is angry or chauvinistic. He is self-possessed, reliable, and ambitious, a man of honor who has carried his place in society. The Lord is the oracle in this oracle deck holds a rayon staff and wears a crown of antlers, showing he keeps himself firmly rooted in the ground and is protective of people. His regal air indicates that he has a taste for the finer things in life, and yet he is sensitive to those who are less fortunate than he is. Aww. This is the Star Ancestor. This is a good card, Aries. Follow your voice of your soul. Star Ancestor. Okay. Wow, he's pretty close. I just found him, too. Now he's gone again. Okay, here he is. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. The Star Ancestor is a Native American term for extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to healing and growth of the world. These incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectiveness when they look up upon the night sky and see the stars. I believe that's because they are remembering their starry connections and what they, this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support in your friends from the sun and the stars. Help if, help if you are willing to be helped. They can support you if connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. Wow, Aries. So I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that was a good reading. It looks like you got some divine watching you and guiding you. And it looks like everything's going to be good. So please like and subscribe. Thank you, Aries.